So hi there everybody. Today I'm looking to make a comparison between the Black Magic Pocket slow-mo at 120 fps and the camera that I'm shooting this on, the Panasonic GH5 at 120 fps. Stay tuned. So the reason why I'm actually making this video is to see if the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera actually can compare to the GH5 when it comes to the slow-mo. And I've been using the GH5 for slow-mo for a long time. I know what it can do. The image looks great. There are, of course, downsides. One being there is no audio and it would be great to have some kind of audio. Another thing is the lacking of any autofocus. With that said, there are some things about the Blackmagic Pocket that are not so great in the slow-mo either. And one is that it actually has almost two times crop when shooting in 120 FPS, so that's not a great thing. But the Blackmagic actually has a couple of things that are in its favor, and one of those things is that you can of course shoot in ProRes, and uh, I'm gonna compare the ProRes from this camera with the footage from the Panasonic. Another thing is that you actually can use the uh, the punch in focus on this camera while you're shooting and that's also great. But in the end of the day the quality of the footage is gonna be the most important and uh, I'm gonna share some of the things and some of the footage that I have here so you can decide for yourself. So I've been playing with the footage for a couple of hours and I mean when it comes to the Panasonic GH5 footage I've been shooting that for such a long time so I'm really familiar to, to it. I know what I'm gonna get when I shoot at 120 FPS. Uh, looking at the Blackmagic it is softer than the Panasonic uh, and we're not only talking that it's, it's like looks you, that you can see that it's been sharpened in post because I've actually tried to sharpen the black magic footage um, and when you do that you can actually see on the footage that it is digitally sharpened and you don't get that with the Panasonic G with the Panasonic footage from the get-go so I actually prefer the Panasonic footage with that said the 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 difference in footage isn't too big I mean of course when I'm sitting on this huge screen reviewing the footage side by side the the difference is, is there but if you're looking at this on a smartphone or a tablet you will probably won't see the difference so in the end of the day if you have one of those cameras i wouldn't choose one or, or the other of these cameras for the slow-mo both look quite okay i mean the crop on the black magic uh, isn't great i would love to be able to skip that but it's there so that's that all in all i prefer the panasonic gh5 footage but with that said i'm gonna if i'm out shooting uh, with a black magic pocket and i need slow-mo i won't hesitate to shoot in the 120 frames per second but it, because it looks good not as good as the, as the panasonic but it looks good i couldn't see any moire uh, or aliasing which the panasonic so at times can have so that's that uh, when I see that the Panasonic tends to get some moire or aliasing I try to avoid those situations so in those situations probably the Blackmagic would be better 
So yeah, I would love to know what you think about this test. As I said in the beginning, I do this test because I want to know for myself which camera to use in which situations. Now I know, at least to my eyes, that the Panasonic is going to be better. If I truly need audio, I'm probably going to go with uh, with black magic and if i need to have critical focus and need that punch in focus which is great i have to say i'm gonna go with the black magic but when it comes to the footage overall i give the hands up to the panasonic gh5 so if you have any questions for me please feel free to leave them in the comments subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and until the next time bye bye